For the best chance of getting a result from corneal scraping, please follow these steps. Getting prepared. Grab a sample kit from the fridge and check that it's got everything you need. Two blood agar, chocolate agar, Sabarad's agar slope and cooked meat medium. Leave it for about an hour until it reaches room temperature. Next, collect two glass slides, viral and acanthamoeba swabs and anaesthetic, preferably lignocaine 1%. You will need seven sterile D15 blades or seven 21 gauge needles, depending on your preference. With a permanent marker, draw a circle on the back of the glass slide to show where your sample will go. Then write the medical record number, name, date of birth, and right or left cornea on the opaque end of the slide. Once everything's reached room temperature, you'll need to lay it all out so it looks something like this. Performing the scrape. To prevent contamination, wash your hands and wear a mask and gloves. Instill the anaesthetic eye drop, lignocaine 1%, it's preferred as it's less bacteriostatic than other topical anaesthetics. Take your sample from the edge of the lesion where the organisms are most active, avoiding the visual access if possible. Starting with the glass slides, ensure your sample is placed within the circled area to make it easy to locate your sample. Next, making sure you don't break the agar surface, inoculate the agar plates with cross-hatch streaks until the sample is fully transferred. Use the labels to seal the side of the plates. Take care not to cover the bottom or the top so that the microbiologists can have a good view of the organisms. For the Sabarad's agar slope, wipe your blade or needle on the slope until the sample is fully transferred. For the cooked meat medium, stir your blade or needle thoroughly in the fluid until the sample is transferred, then dispose of your needle or blade in the sharps bin. Finally, swab the edge of the corneal lesion with viral and acanthamoeba swabs. Your sample should be sent straight to microbiology. If that's not possible, store the glass sides in the fridge and all other samples in an incubator. Following these steps will give your samples the very best chance to yield diagnostic results. So thanks for watching and good luck.